Good day, subscribers. Uh, good to see everyone going from 20 subscriptions all the way to 22. Different day, different headgear. So uh, this video is outlined for uh, the year 12s. Had some fantastic responses back. Looking at the beginning outline already of our section A, uh, the inspector calls. And like I keep kind of saying in, via my email contacts, just make sure that what you're doing now is just getting those notes ready, getting those examples sorted in preparation uh, for the next section. So real short clip today, just gonna be looking at uh, the structure for the first paragraph um, and how to include all of the things that the examiner is looking for within the 2009 examiner report, which I sent you all. So make sure, again, you've had a good look at that before um, you upload or have a little look at this. So you've done your introduction, and then this is our first paragraph. So this is our first key example um, it doesn't matter what example you're talking about. It doesn't need to be in linear order. You can go from any part of the structure. That's absolutely fine. But just ensure that your example isn't just an isolated theatrical element. Now, what I mean by that is it's not just um, you talking about Burling's costume, for example, um, or the inspector's costume in, in just one moment. What you want to talk about is, in that key moment, how costume was used, how lighting was used, how sound was used. So picking those examples which are which outline the theatrical collaborators and how they kind of supported uh, the play. I would also, before you tackle this question or this part of the structure, be looking or reminding yourself of the key themes of Inspector Calls, um, the idea of class, the division, social inequality, all of the things that we went through in class a couple of weeks back. Um, and I sent you out a really good document um, which kind of overviews the thematics and the structures of the play. So that would be a really helpful thing for you to do. So we've done our introductions, which you've all sent me, and I've sent you some, some EBI feedback for. So the next part is we're going to bookend. What I mean by that is at the start and the end of this paragraph, we're just going to do two things, and we're just going to, again, refer back to our response to the statement. So I will go... Uh, an example which showcases how I clearly disagree or an example which showcases how I clearly agree with the statement is as follows. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to bookend, so I'm going to start and end with the question and my response towards it. Remembering this is a personalised response um, and I kept going over and over um, that on the last clip last, last week, this week, losing tracks of weeks. Okay, so we're just going to bookend our response to the statement because this is all about us talking about um, our, our response to that, that question that came up in 2019. So I start off with my response and then the next thing is I'm going to outline that key example. So I'm going to say, so an example which outlines how I agree or disagree with the statement is as follows. And I'm just going to talk a little bit um, about that example. So I might talk about um, the stage space used by the inspector. Um, when he is kind of blockading all of the actors going back into uh, their house. I might talk about the, the stage design when I first, at the very start of the family's scenes, when I see the Burlings for the first time and I see that, that incredible kind of doll's house, that microcosm of society presented on stage, I might talk about that moment where it kind of opens up. Okay, so I'm going to talk about that moment um, as it is, and focus just at that point on one element. So don't kind of go lighting, costume set, uh, props, etc. Just focus on one aspect. So I might talk about the the set design at that moment and how it was used. Okay, so I've done bookend, I've outlined my response to the statement. The second part is I'm just going to focus on one element and describe how that was used at that moment. And then I'm going to analyse and evaluate it. Okay, so I'm going to have a balanced response. So I'm going to pick it apart a little bit. I'm going to evaluate it. I'm going to talk about my personal um, perception, my personalised judgement. I'm remembering that this is all about answering the question. Okay, so that's really important. Within each analysis, each evaluation, if you can come back to the question, then that would be really, really fantastic. And then within that, um, Within that moment, that's when you can kind of talk about the theatrical elements as well. So you might talk about the first time we saw the set as it opened up, the garish colours really reflecting the essence of uh, or the ideas of wealth and the stark kind of social inequality which was presented through the textures and materials of the staging. Um, and I'm picking that apart and telling, you know, 
what I enjoyed about that moment and I'm outlining how this really clearly fe- showcases how the set choices at that moment indicates the, the, my response to the statement. Also at this point the collaboration of lighting, the lighting was very, had like a like an orange hue and how that supports my response to statement. I could talk about how uh, the colours of the costume in this key example supports my response to the statement. So you, you can kind of imagine, I keep coming back to this, the whole purpose of this paragraph or every paragraph is responding to the statement. Okay, so let me just go back through that structure. So I'm going to respond to the statement on bookending. I'm just going to outline my key example and within that I'm going to make sure, you know, I'm going to talk about the theatrical collaboration of my key example and I'm going to make sure that if I've written two or three lines of analysis, I've written two or three lines of evaluation because I've got to have a balanced response. I'm not just going to talk about one isolated element, I'm going to talk about a range of elements within my example and I'm going to make sure that whatever I'm talking about I'm analysing and evaluating. I'm not just kind of saying, I'm not just throwing them flippantly around. Um, and I, as much as I can, I'm trying to come back to the response to the question. So here's my example, let me talk about it, and this showcases how I disagree. Here's, this happened also within this example, and this also shows how I disagree. This also happened. And then right at the end, you're just summarising that example, that paragraph. So it's really similar to your English point evidence explain. Um, you're concluding in that example everything you've talked about. Um, so you're saying, you know, it's clearly evident how the example that I'm talking about showcases how I disagree with the statement, okay? Because what we've clearly talked about bookending. So it's just bringing together everything you've talked about in that paragraph and not writing a final conclusion, but just outlining really clearly my response to the statement. So let me go back through that structure. So I'm bookending, I'm saying my response to the statement, I'm bringing in my first key example, I'm outlining the collaboration of theatre makers within that example, I'm analysing and I'm evaluating everything that I'm talking about, and as much as I can, I'm using those examples to, to, um, to come to my kind of conclusion, my example. And then finally, I'm bookending again, I'm coming back at the end, I'm drawing together what I've talked about at the end of that section. Um, I'll also put out this week, I'll put out... Um, and I'll email to you and add it onto class charts is Lucy Jenkins um, 2019 example for this question where she got I believe like 18, 19 out of 20 and you can just pick out this key structure okay so the first thing you need to do is you need to just outline the structure that I've just gone through second have a look at Lucy's and just highlight where she's used all of the things I've talked about and then the third thing for this week is to attempt your first paragraph and that's why I say without having your examples really kind of sound you'll really struggle to answer or to start this paragraph. Good luck.